It's raining, so I'm grilling under the porch. Let's see what's under the big blue old Smokey today. Ooh, two meatloaves. All right, these are not fatties. These are just traditional meatloaves cooked in a pan. If the um, drippings get high, I'd, I'd suck it out with a turkey baster. They get about done and about time to top them. I'm either gonna top them with ketchup, barbecue sauce, or Heinz 57. I might put one on one of them and something else on the other one. So I've got two meatloafs and three choices. You know what they say about meatloaf, two out of three ain't bad. times like this when I think of that Creedence Clearwater Revival song. You know, the one that starts, as long as I remember, rain's been coming down. Been doing this for seven days, but it's supposed to stop tomorrow. Anyway, we're gonna be uh, cooking most of this inside, doing a side dish to go with that meatloaf, fried corn. Stick around, y'all. Big Lou barbecue. Okay, to make this, you're gonna need corn. I'm using about 10 ears of some corn we put up earlier in the summer and Blanche stuck in the freezer. You're gonna need bacon, and you're gonna need uh, some salt, pepper, some sort of seasoned all thing. This is a Cajun Creole seasoning that I make. You use your favorite seasoning blend. Uh, and that's all you need for fried corn. Uh, Big Lou barbecue. Okay, first thing you wanna do is just take the corn and just cut it off the cob, just like that. Let's go keep on going around. Now look, a subscriber and friend I have met on YouTube, I have met so many good people on YouTube, he's Hagar at Stone Mountain Barbecue. Uh, he asked me about fried corn on another video I did where I used some leftover fried corn on a pulled pork pizza. Now Stone Mountain Barbecue's up there in Virginia. And you know in that Credence song, it mentions as he goes down in Virginia, right? All right, I'll cut the rest of the uh, kernels off the other corn and we'll meet you at the black iron skillet. Okay, got the uh, 12 inch lodge skillet hot, ready to go. And we're gonna put in oh, about half a dozen strips of bacon. Half a dozen seems good because it's about what fits in the pan, but heck, I might decide to fry up two more pieces and put in this corn, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Um, you gonna crumble the bacon up, so don't worry about having Thick cut, thin cut, bacon ends and pieces, whatever. You just need bacon. All right? So, put these two strips in here. A little piece right there. We'll fry it up, take it out, and we'll put the corn in, show you what happens. Big Lou barbecue. Okay, I did add two more pieces, pieces of bacon, so I fried up eight pieces. It just seemed about right. So I'll take it out and set it on a plate with a paper towel over here. Let it cool till I can crumble it. And it's time to put the corn in. So I'm gonna take the, now this corn was frozen. There was a little bit of water with it. I drained it in the colander, but there's still a lot of water and it's gonna pop. So I have a shirt on, I'm just saying. All right. And take your favorite seasoning blend. If you want that to just be salt and pepper, that'll be fine. I'm using some of this uh, Cajun Creole seasoning. That's probably about right. Use as much as you want. And if you uh, like a real lot of it, be kind to those that don't. You can always add more later when you're eating it. So just give it a little bit of salt. When you're using a seasoned salt like that, when it's salty enough, it's seasoned enough. All right. So I'm just gonna to continue to stir this around. We'll be back when I'm putting the bacon crumbles in. Okay, well, the dog started barking during this scene, but that just means that I can uh, fast forward it and voice over it, saves your time, saves my time. So as you can see, all I'm doing now is stirring in the crumbled bacon pieces, continuing to break a few of them up with a little wooden spatula. We're just gonna to continue to stir, let it rest a few minutes and stir again, stir it frequently until it's done. That's all there is to this. Okay, I've just turned it off. This is done. Um, you can see a little bit of it gets kind of brown right there. Hopefully you can see. It looks good and uh, it's going to be good. Easy to do, just corn, bacon, and whatever kind of seasoning you want to use. You can use salt or pepper or you can use a seasoning blend as I did. Um, makes a great side dish to any family meal, 
any grilled food meal, any barbecued meal, as we're gonna to do tonight with barbecued meatloaf, any smoked food. It's a great side dish to just about anything and simple, simple, easy to do recipe. Um, look, uh, Jason at uh, Stone Mountain Barbecue, also goes by Hagar. I hope you enjoyed uh, how we do this. Hope you try it out. If you do, let me know if anybody else tries it out. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Big Lou Barbecue.